cheap guitars and gear. Well, that can be a touchy subject to some people. Um, a while back I worked with a guy who said he wouldn't be seen holding a guitar unless it cost at least $500. Um, yeah, I can understand that to a point. Um, but then you have people like me, and you may be the same, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> or, you know, I'm just full of bad ideas. I like to experiment with stuff. So, I like to find, you know, cheap guitars and cheap amps and, and tinker with them, change them. Let me grab um, one guitar and and I'll explain a few things that I did to it and what I paid for it and uh, and we'll just start from there and see what happens this I can get where I can see this is a an old PV Raptor Plus I picked it up and a second-hand music store paid sixty dollars for it and when I first got it it was black with three single coils it still has the same single coils in it just set up a little different I had an idea of something I wanted to do with the single coils and not something you would normally do with an expensive fender or something like that. Um, on the subject of fender, one thing I think fender got wrong was putting the volume control so close to the pickup. When I'm playing, my hand keeps hitting the volume control, so I moved it. It's got a single tone and a single volume control five-way selector switch. Now in this first bridge position, the two single coils here are wired together but they're not in series as a, uh, as a humbucker but they're in parallel similar to what you'd have in your second position where you normally have your bridge in your middle but I wanted all of the tone coming from this area. So those two are literally wired together in, uh, in parallel. Into this middle position on the switch, you have all three of these single coils. <clears throat> I bring it up one more. I'm just this, this pick up here. And the fourth position, I've got this old Tysco gold foil and this one wired together and all the way in the neck position I've got just this old um, Tysco gold foil pickup this is came out of a, a 1960s Japanese guitar has a very interesting tone to it um, like I said it was originally black um, this is literally a spray can paint job uh, it came out pretty well pretty shiny and smooth and I'm actually you know very happy with the way the, the finish came out but we move on to the next subject this one is a kind of a, a Franken monster this is a, uh, a first act Telecaster body with a guitar finish Stratocaster style neck and in case you're wondering get this into the I'm gonna have to get a better picture of the neck neck pocket but you can put a, uh, a Stratocaster shaped neck into a Telecaster pocket uh, as you can see there are some uh, little gaps on the edges of the uh, where the neck pocket is I filled that uh, area in with a little bit of epoxy so this is actually uh, bolted on and glued in neck. Now if you're curious about doing something like that the um, 
the 21st fret here when you put in a strat neck in a telecaster body the fret is actually moved away from the bridge just a little, little just a little bit it's between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch so if you've got enough adjustment in your uh, in your saddles it'll still inundate just fine and this one I haven't put a pit guard on it I'd have to make a pit guard for it and I'm working on ideas on what I want to do there and this one actually plays pretty nice but that's just another uh, bad idea for uh, some of you with uh, poor decision making abilities you may want to try swapping something around if you want a telecaster with a uh, strat style neck on it helicopter here is another uh, strat style guitar I'm working on uh, this one I actually bought on uh, Amazon for $60 brand new um, it's about the worst case scenario you can think of when it comes to uh, uh, problems and flaws with the guitar um, I'm gonna post some I'll add some pictures to this to show some of the discrepancies with this one um, you can uh, probably see got a nice crack right in the body here that I've got to fill in there is a crack on the neck socket um, that I've had to stabilize with glue um, this one I'm trying another different um, idea I had that you wouldn't do, wouldn't do with a uh, with a thousand dollar fender is I'm taking the uh, the bridge I'm taking the bridge apart this um, tone block or whatever you want to call it for the for um, for holding the strings uh, literally weighs nothing it's some kind of pop metal it just it has no weight to it and you run into that with um, cheap strat copies uh, they'll have this type of uh, a tone block on the bottom of the tremolo um, two of the strings are actually they're stuck in this I can't get them out <laughs> so I won't even use this part and so what I've done is I'm gluing in a piece of wood <clears throat> and um, the idea is after this is all set and done uh, put that on the front of the back on the front of the body and the, uh, the three screw holes that um, normally bolts to this block I'm going to use wood screws and I'm going to screw this down hard on the body it's basically going to make it uh, make it a hard tail um, here's a, the pit guard assembly for this guitar I've already moved the uh, the volume and tone resituated it the way I like it and I'm gonna make some changes to the um, to the selector switch um, I don't really care too much for the humbucker and single coil combination so I'm gonna reposition the wiring on the switch so I can have just the uh, the bridge pickup or when I move into the next position I'm gonna have the bridge in the neck because I like that tone and this will be rewired in the neck position on the switch so when I'm all the way forward with the switch I'm running on just a single coil so I still have the use of of all these pickups but in the configuration I would prefer and that's just something that you can do without too much work uh, to uh, one of these inexpensive guitars and if you totally trash it like this this body here if I end up you know if it ends up that I can't um, salvage his body and and make it uh, usable which I'm 99% sure I can salvage all I can fix all these problems then you know I really haven't lost anything because cheap strat copy bodies are, uh, are a dime a dozen you can find them just about anywhere and this one has some some serious issues here's a I've already stabilized this crack with uh, with glue so it won't it won't flex and open up anymore the routing on this is just terrible but like you know most of that's all covered up it's just you know that it's there is the type of things you're going to run into with with cheap guitars and the only reason why I 
like messing with cheap guitars is because I'd be scared to death to make major changes on a guitar that cost me a thousand dollars because you have potential to lose so much money if you do something that somebody else isn't going to like. I could paint this any color I wanted and not really have to worry about it. Now you get into the amp situation. This is another project I worked on. It's got a uh, little Vox VT20X amp that I've turned into a head. I made the box. I'm um, still got to get the uh, the covering material. I'm going to recover it all in matching material. Um, I like the personality of the amplifier. I just didn't like the fact that you had to bend over and you know put my face right over the top of the amp to see what the controls were, uh, where everything was set at. I would prefer to have it you know more more facing me. So. I did this little modification so what the amp of the controls are configured more in the direction I want them. Not to mention the fact I can pick up this this amp head and I can put it on a table or something nearby me and I can have that cabinet across the room. Now I paid $180 for that box amp and I did a little video on reviewing that but it's a different story. But the, uh, the whole purpose of this video is to inspire people to, you know, take chances and try different things. You know, if you have an idea or a thought or something that you'd be interested in trying, pick up on these cheap guitars and give it a shot and you'll surprise yourself. And don't worry about the, you know, is somebody else going to like it? Do what you like. Um, that's about it for this. Talk to y'all later.